Greetings, I'm Drappers. Welcome to my new studio tour and a bit of a gear tour as well. Really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, there are going to be lots and lots of videos from me in this new location. I'm really excited about doing some of them. Uh, so why don't we start? I'll show you around. So here's the door and this door leads into this huge room, which I'm really, really happy with. But to begin with, most importantly, I've got a uh, tumble dryer. <laughs> I've got a sink. I need to put a kettle here somewhere so I can make a caffeinated beverages. Dojo. Um, this is some lyrics that the wonderful Catherine uh, gave me at the last tour of two week. If any of you recognize that, it's really nicely done. Um, I've got a fridge freezer here, but my cardboard is in the way. And then some storage. This is kind of cool. This is my pickup and odds and ends drawer. So I've got some got some cool bits in there. I don't use these strings, but when we were on um, not tour, but in Malta shooting uh, music videos, we thought, what if we break a string? And the local store didn't sell dead diaries, so we've got some rotors. Never used them, but there they are. That's a cool drawer, full of cool things. Uh, I've got a bathroom. There's my shitter, there's my shower, there's my weights that I will probably never use, and some toys. It's important to have toys in every single toilet. So, moving on. Um, yeah, this is my massive, overly sized uh, pedal board, pedal train, and um, I'm actually about to step up the pedal board game and construct a big one because now that I've got a, an amplifier that, that I can really experiment with pedals, not that I couldn't with the Silverback, but this the new amp I'm using, the RD1, is it's really receptive to them and I'm really enjoying experimenting with different sounds, um, both through the loop and in the front. So I'm going to be making a new pedal board. I've got a load of stuff here that I haven't used in ages. Uh, some of which were given to me. Thank you very, very much to the wonderful people who gave me those. Here's a lot more. So this is a pile of stuff to review or that I currently use. Um, so for example, this is amazing. Uh, I'm probably going to have that on my board. Can't wait to review that for you. Uh, I just bought this. It's just great. Absolutely fantastic. Beer got one as well. Uh, Dr. Black doing it good. I have to read you, I've got to read you actually, the um, part of the instructions manual that came with it that I thought was really funny. Um, <laughs> to replace the 9 volt battery, grab your trusty Phillips head screwdriver and remove the four screws holding the backing plate on. The battery sits right under below the foot switch. I think you can handle the rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, I don't know, assassination instructions or something. So yeah, then I got the MF Chorus. Uh, I got the Vicious Vibe from TC. This sounds absolutely sick. Uh, I was given this. Um, not sure if I like it yet. I, I might just need to find the right application. I think I just don't really like the look of it, to be honest. Um, I've got the Helix as well to review for TC. Um, also, I got, I got this. So this is uh, the Studio One uh, Presonus Audio Box IT Studio. It's a whole studio in a box. Um, just basically because I wanted to experiment with a little tiny rig on the on the fly. Um, because I'm on tour a lot now in different countries a lot. For example, I mean I got married and then I went to Malta and then I went to well, on tour and then I went to uh, Germany, Malta again. I'm always around and so a little portable recording thing is very useful for me. Bunch of cables I'm cleaning after shooting a video in the desert. There's my little baby. Full stack. Um, these are some boxes that belong to Dorje for things like merchandise and uh, Dave's stand and some of the uh, audio bits we use for in-ears. Uh, moving along. Uh, Proto One Silverback. Absolutely love this amplifier, specifically for the rhythm tones. Proto Two Silverback which for some reason we decided to call Pirate Monkey Amplification. <laughs> uh, and I've got the incredible Coolidge Outlander. Couldn't live with this, without this amplifier. It's just such a nice and lovely sounding plexi with monkey wood and all sorts of lovely stuff. The Zillas, of course. 
A um, couple of dual darks, both of which I absolutely love. Beautiful crunchy rhythm tones, got the 50 and I got the 100. Got a Hayden cab because uh, it was delivered to Rabia and then Rabia never picked it up. Nothing against Hayden, it's just here. That's the Marshall 412 that I use as a coffee table for years. Got an Airwire 100, which in my opinion is the best orange amplifier they've ever made. Um, just sublime, buttery cleans, beautiful crunches, a couple of rubber swords there. And the Rock of Herb 50 Mark II, which as you all know, I've used for years and years and years. 212, 412, it's the heaviest 412 in existence. Um, they're great sounding, but my god, you need a team. Ghost fret, you can tell what gets played a lot because it's it's in my corner of my corner of destruction just here. Corner of destruction should be the new song for Megadeth. Chest of mysterious wonders that you will not see inside. Uh, my Joe, Green BC Rich, which I really need to post to a lovely guy in Australia as soon as I get some boxes. I'm just a bit worried because it's such a long way to ship it. Um, I, I wanted to get a really strong box uh, to put it in and then another box, so I'm double boxing it basically. He's getting it, I've spoken to him. Uh, beautiful acoustic, love the parlors from Faith. This is one of my favorites. And then I've got the <coughs> Proto 1 natural um, ML2 traditional, sorry, ML3 traditional. You can tell I can't count, it's got the wrong bridge. So when I finger pick, the strings come off, which is why it's a Proto. We changed that and the production model is infinitely better. And to be honest, I kind of need one. <laughs> um, that's a bit of ML2. That's my Cap 10. That's my ML3. PRS. Most of you guys will know about Wednesday Mark II. Beautiful guitar. Given to me by the lovely Jeff at uh, World in Hitchin. There's my little V. Yeah, buddy. Telly from Joe. Love you, Joe. Uh, here is my production model ML3. Uh, traditional, as you can see, correct bridge, beautiful wood, um, really, really, really nice. Love this guitar. Unusual metal tones, actually. I wasn't expecting it to do that, but it does, which surprised me and I find interesting. Uh, that's an ML3 uh, modern. <clears throat> nice guitar, lovely humbuckers. Partly designed by myself. Ghost fret. Uh, Number two, I like the way the floor is reflecting on the body actually. Kind of looks cool. Looks really metal, doesn't it? Sounds amazing. There's my little victory combo. First ever acoustic that I, I bought as a serious thing, Faith. Absolutely love this guitar. You can tell I've battered the crap out of it down here. Uh, a bunch of cases for things. Actually, there's a guitar here I'm selling, the Gibson. <laughs> I, uh, I love it, but actually, They've just got a new range out, and in the range, there's a V, and to be really honest with you, um, I actually really want to get another V, so I'm gonna sell that. If anybody's interested, Facebook me. The couch. Um, now, I'm fully aware that this looks a lot like a porn set right now, but it's trust me, it's not, unless it's gear porn. Um, a bunch more cases. Some of these are empty, some of them are full containing all sorts of dirty things. Uh, blackout blinds, an absolute must um, for shooting video because you can control the lighting and it's, and also I don't really want people seeing in. It's a bit of a private thing, you know. If you're singing or playing guitar, it's, it's nice to have a bit of privacy. Uh, under this is um, pretty much one of everything we make at Chatham Guitars. It's just uh, everything boxed up. There's a Janus board, I've got to sort that out. That's one of Nat's keyboards. Nat's cello, I need to give them to Nat. That's the Scarlet that I use for recording in here. And we're back full circle. So there you go. It's my new, my new pad, man. I'm really happy with it. It's a beautiful room. It's big too, yeah? There's loads of space. You, you can, uh, I mean, I can sing in here. Look at the roof, it's really, it gets really high. It's got great acoustics. Um, so I'm looking forward to shooting lots of interesting reviews and sort of, um, just enjoying the space. I was gonna go into uh, a skit there, but I decided not to, and you'll all know which skit it was. Um, so yeah, if you, if there's anything in particular that you think you'd like me to review, demonstrate, I can get hold of anything pretty much. Maybe let me know in the comment section below. It would be kind of cool. If there's anything that you think is re-happening, 
interesting. Um, I'm in contact with most of the companies and I'm sure they'd listen to the comment section. So if you see something you like in the comment section, thumb it up. I've been Rob Chappers. Thank you for enduring this studio gear tour thing. See you guys later. Chappers out.